jeans and the short skirts. <laughs> the Lord going to take away. The Lord going to take it away. The Lord going to take away the bow ties, the front ties. He's going to take away the boob jobs. The Lord's going to take away the powdered wigs, the colored wigs. The Lord's going to take away the hairspray. The Lord's going to take away the Louis bag, the Gucci bag, the Versace. The Lord's going to take away all that because it's vanity in your Oh, business. pray and change this thing. Amen. <laughs> God's going to take it away. God's going to take away all those things that you use to, that you use to fuel your pride. God's gonna take it away in the last days. You're holding on to it for dear life. But God's gonna take it away. When God says he's gonna do something, he really means it. Wouldn't it be better if you were receiving a good promise from God, wouldn't it be better? If you were receiving the promise that you would become a virtuous woman, that he would make your children to call you blessed, wouldn't it be better if God was blessing you for righteousness sake, rather than punishing you and correcting you? Because he said he's going to do it. He's going to correct you. That's what he says. Sweet, sweet blessings. You're, you're, you're blessed? Amen. <laughs> nice. Gonna nice outfit. Wow. Perfume. I just want to. Huh? I just want to recommend you as a young man. Recommend? You're doing this for the Lord. Yes. He will bless you. Yes. And I wish whatever you put out and other young men hear you, they will come. I believe so. Somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere. What church is it? What church is this? Yeah. We are the church of the firstborn of the living God. <laughs> I thought you was an Adventist. Yes, we are Seventh day Adventists. Where, where, where's that location? 218 Street on Brownsville. Uh -huh. well, we actually got multiple Seventh day Adventist churches yeah. that's near here, but he goes to North Bronx. Yeah. yeah. I live in Manhattan, so my dear friend one there is Ma one. Ma Ma Ephesus, right? Yeah, it's called um, Eph um, Ephesus. Ephesus, one. Called? Yeah, well, Ephesus. Um, it's a big church, huge. Yeah. It's a huge yeah. church. Yeah, that's Harlem. Harlem. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then there's another one. I, I think they said there's one at one fifty. Where's one fifty? Isn't Isn't next gen church? My gen. My gen yeah. church. Yes. My. My. Uh, where is that? Uh, Frederick Douglass Boulevard. Okay. I think they said there's one at West one fifty. I live at one thirty five. Oh, okay. Let me see what this one. To go, you know, I'm Adventist, I'm Adventist. Oh yeah? Okay. You, you wanna you wanna get back, you wanna fellowship, yeah. we fellowship. Not wrong. So I'm trying to find one nearest to me. Yeah. In Manhattan. Yeah. But somebody told me that there is one at West 150. I don't know all of them, but I've been to I've been to my gen SDA. It's a new church, it just started up. Where is that? My gen in SDA. Yeah, it's in Harlem. It's in Harlem. It's, it's a lot of young, young people there, right? Yeah. A lot of young people. Very good. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. Adam Clayton Powell Jr. Good Twenty three twenty eight. I, I got 23, 23, 26. That's right. Broadway? No, Adam Clayton, Paolo Jr. Boulevard. Okay. Alright. I'll find it. God bless What's you. What's your name? Donna. Huh? Donna. Donna. Donna? Okay. I've been an Adventist all my life. Is that right? My sister come here and I just... You got caught up. You got caught up. Now, yeah. now is the time to get caught up with Jesus. We gotta pray. We gotta. We, 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 you say we're to pray for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Man, let's pray. 
Father, in the, in the name of Jesus, we, we, just, we just thank you, Lord, for this day. Yes. We thank you, Lord, for your power for the Sabbath day of rest. We thank you for the, uh, your, your, the, um, the sister. We pray, Lord, you may, may lead her to the right church, Lord. We pray, Lord, you may fuel her with the Holy Spirit. May she get closer to you and, and, and be used for your honor and glory to draw others to you. I pray, Lord, for her, her, her health, her mind. I pray you may scratch it. I pray you may enhance it. I pray you may use it to reach people in her family. And I pray, Father, that by your grace, she may be safe in your kingdom, oh God. We pray for joy in her life. We come against fear, anxiety, depression, bitterness, unforgiveness. And we pray for the joy of the Holy Spirit all in her, Lord. All in her mind, all throughout the way she talks. Her example may be an example of godliness. Thank you, Father, for her, Lord. Use her mightily, honorably, and faithfully for your cause. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Yeah, thank amen. you. Is that my bathroom there? Here? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I've never used it. Uh, they close. They close. Unless you want to check, knock, knock them out. Okay, God bless you. God bless All right. You God too, bless you. <laughs> yeah. Amen. We'll wrap this up. Yeah, so when God makes a covenant, God is going to keep his end of the bargain. Whether you keep your end or not, the Bible says that. The Bible says that God is faithful, even when we are faithless, because he cannot deny himself. Amen. God cannot deny himself. God is, God, God is the truth. So he cannot deny. When he says something, it becomes, it has to be recognized. God bless you, my brother. It's just Bless him. Bless him. Amen. 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 <laughs> so, Say blessings. God makes a promise, he keeps it. What you want to do is make sure that the promise he makes is for your good. What you want, what you want God's promise to be is that he will exalt you rather than him setting his hand against you because you don't want the hand of God against you. The Bible says that it is a dreadful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Please don't fall into the hands of God. You want his hands to lift you up, not to pull you down. Nope, because he will do it if needs be. And he's no, he, he's no respecter of person. He's not gonna say, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this I'm gonna pull this person down and I'm gonna lift that person up even though they're both doing the same thing. God is not partial. Woman, you out here doing wrong, God is gonna deal with your case just like he would deal with a man. This is what is being said in Isaiah chapter three. He's saying that he's gonna deal with the problem where it comes from woman. Woman, stop worshiping yourself. Stop glorifying yourself. Stop showing so much skin. Stop coming outside looking for men to lust after you. Stop thinking that you are less of a woman because you are not showing off thighs and legs and breasts and butt and whatever. Stop thinking you're less of a woman because if you do, if you continue to be a stumbling block in the way of men, men who are trying to live righteous life, men who are trying to live godly life, Men who are not trying to lust after the flesh. And you keep putting yourself out here for men to lust after. God is going to deal with you. That's the problem. That's the problem. And he's going to do it in a way so that he gets, gets through to your mind. He's gonna get through to your mind. He's not gonna only come and take away, he's not only gonna come and ask you to, to change your clothes. How you doing? God protest my child. <laughs> We're protesting against sin. <laughs> sin is a fucking death. Sin. Sin is death. Sin. That's right. Come on. Oh, really? Sin. Wow. Well, bro, you can get victory over sin. Victory in Jesus' name. <laughs> Only in Jesus. Come on. That's what's up, Stay brother. strong, bro. Stay strong. We love you. We love you. So when I say God is going to deal with the problem, he's going to get to the source of the problem. He's going to address your behavior, but he's going to get through to your mind. He's going to change your mind. 
when God gets through with you, woman, when God gets through with you, when you remember what God done with you, you ain't never gonna walk outside. You ain't never gonna wanna walk outside and have another man lusting after you again. That's what I'm telling you. You ain't never gonna wanna put on a low cut shirt showing off your breasts or your nipples out or your thong out or I can see right through your legs. You ain't gonna never wanna do that. When God gets through with you, you ain't gonna never wanna do it again. I promise you. You gonna wanna stop sleeping around with every tall Dick and Harry in town. Trust me, when God makes a promise, he, keep, he makes good on it. Man, when you, when you will not learn to stop abusing women, stop treating women like all they are, are pieces of breast and butt and just pieces of, and just objects for you to climb on top of and abuse. If you don't get, if you don't get it, God's gonna do something radical for you. He gonna do something radical, and when he get through with you, you go one sit down and settle down with one woman until the day you die. When he get through with you, because God don't play those games. God don't play. The Bible says that because judgment against an evil work is not executed speedily, the heart of men is set to the wicked. But when, when God get through, when God get through, oh, when God get through. When mm. when God gets through with what He's doing, the Bible says He's gonna do a work and He's gonna cut it short in righteousness. God is gonna God is gonna in God is gonna exponentially increase His efforts to get to get the message out to people. That's what you see going on out here in the world. That's why you see people preaching left, right, and center. Everywhere you go, you can find somebody preaching about Jesus, calling out sin, calling calling people to repent and turn from their fornication. My brother right here, I can't wait to let him loose. He be calling out sin by his name, calling out people who are addicted to pornography, mm -hmm. calling out homosexuality, calling out abortion, calling out pedophilia, calling out sex trafficking calling out addiction he call we call it out everywhere you go you're gonna find somebody calling out sin by his right hand because god is putting in extra effort right now to turn people from sin so that they could not that so that we could stop dying dying in your sin you're dying for sin in sin by sin dying god is saying why should you die why not live? Amen. I hope that many of y'all come. Not when it gets the when, when not when things get to its worst. Not when God strips you down to nothing. Not when God takes all the blessings back from you and leaves you with a stump. I hope you don't wait till that point. But guess what? I'm just doing my job. I'm preaching. And I know that somebody heard me, some young man heard me, some young woman heard me, and feel the conviction of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And that's good. And I say praise the Lord, praise the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. That I could come out here and share the word of the Lord with y'all. God bless y'all, I love y'all, and accept, and, and, and remember, when you hear the voice of Jesus, harden not your heart. Amen. As was in the day of our rebellious ancestors, harden not your heart. But Incline your ears to the law of God. Incline your ears to the righteousness of God. Hear the word of God so that you can be transformed from inside out. God bless you and keep you. And make his face to shine upon you. And grant you his peace. May he lift up his countenance upon you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. God bless you. Man. Sure yeah man, Danny Sheraton man. Dan are you any of that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> name Daniel? Danny! Guy Dan. Yeah man. Yeah, so recording, so. Alright, cool. So man, let us Yes, brother. May the good Lord pour out his Holy Spirit upon my brother. Amen. Bless Amen. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to the most high. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. You sure you know I use this?
Oh, yeah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, how we need Jesus. Oh, how we need oh, Jesus. Oh, how we need Jesus. Lay over there. Dress for your husband like that. Not for the public. Dress for your husband. Future husband. Dress him out half naked with, with skin showing. Legs, thighs showing. Wicked. Wicked. Put some clothes on. That's for your husband. That's for you to make babies with. Not for the general public. Bible says, let every woman be modest. Man be modest. A lot of you are dressed around half naked. Breast showing. Booty showing for the public. Because you're being taught by your, by your celebrities. You're being taught by your, your rap stars. You're being taught lies by the media. Trying to get attention. You are trying to, uh, uh, trying to find man. You got to... Dress modestly, dress only, dress wisely, ladies. Hallelujah. Well, I'm here to preach the word of God. The Bible says in the last days, the love of many will grow cold. We will become lovers of pleasures rather than lovers of God. Mm -hmm. You know when that guy killed George Floyd, that cop? He had no love. You know why that, that cop killed George Floyd? He, 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 he was doing what he felt like doing. The Bible says hey, there's that, a way that seems you, right. But um, you're, he, you're supposed to be on the line. He felt like killing him. Well, I just got a text. I just got a text saying that you're needed. But the Bible says there's a way that seems right. Yeah, I just got I a text from him saying way. you're needed. I thought you would be I on already. Live God's way. But anyways. And we think it's okay I'm to get street. buzzed. I'm, I'm to get wasted. Street, and I nope. can barely hear you know I'm be buzzing? preaching. And I'm, Bees. I'm listening Bees to... should be buzzing, not you. Why are you getting buzzed? Bees should be buzzing. Oh, Lord, You've I been lied to by society. Ain't no one going to get buzzed and wasted. You don't think straight. You the don't live straight. Just you have babies that you don't want. You fornicate and abort. So you fornicate and you abort. Wicked. Wicked. God says repent. God says let right. every man find a wife. Find a wife and have all the babies you want with, with that, that wife. one wife. Woman, Amen. find a husband. One. Get a get a husband. One person. Faithfulness, loyalty, dedication to that one person. This world will say, well, have sex with random people. Be, be, be promiscuous. Be promiscuous. That's a lie from the devil itself. That's a lie. God wants you to live unholy. God said live holy, live righteously, live soberly. Amen. And living in sin will twist your thinking like a pretzel. It will twist your thinking like a pretzel. We live in sin. Gentlemen, live holy, live righteously, live soberly. Let Christ be your example of living holy. Let Christ be your way maker. Let Christ be your example. As the people out here are protesting about Black Lives Matter, all lives matter. All lives matter. Asian lives matter. Puerto Rican lives matter. Chinese lives matter. Portuguese lives matter. All lives matter. Christ died for every life. Every life. Protesting against sin. You know, you know what, you know what, you know how we solve problems in the world? Sin. Sin causes death. Sin causes rebellion. Sin causes release to kill people who should be What's up, killed. Brother? Sin causes gang violence. Sin causes rape. Sin causes abusive relationships. That's what sin does. Protest against sin. Your mind is the battlefield. Your mind is the battlefield. You 
see, that's what, they, that's what they got guard dogs at, at, at every house. Not every house. Some house have guard dogs. The guard dog is supposed to protect the house. You have uh, you have a, a pin for, 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 your, for your bank account. Chase, Bank of America, right? You got skin on your body that protects you from, from infections and from bacteria, right? Okay, so you need to be protecting your mind against the infiltration of sin. How does sin come in? Through wicked people, through, through wicked music, through wicked movies, through pornography. Your mind is being exposed music. to yep. all sorts of things. So you need to protect your mind from things that will come into your mind and destroy you living your best potential. You gotta protect your mind. You gotta protect, you gotta guard your heart. Out of the heart flows the issues of life. You gotta protect. Like, like that fire truck, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna place my horn. Like, like that fire truck, God is saying repent. I repent. Like that fire truck, God is saying repent. God is calling his people just to cry out aloud. Cry out loudly and tell my people their transgressions. Cry loudly. I'm saying, well, keep your faith to yourself. Keep your listen to yourself. Well, I'm going to keep your smoking to yourself. I'm going to keep your, your, your naked body to yourself. I'm going to keep your, your custom mouth to yourself. I want that. How about that? Keep your nasty billboards out my way. How about that? Your nasty commercials, your nasty advertising, your pornography, your nasty movies. Your, how about that? But no. I got, I got to deal with that, right? Well, guess what? Well, guess what? Guess what? If I got to deal, deal with your smoking, and you're drinking, and you're potty mouth, you gotta deal with my preaching, how about that? Fair game, right? Fair game. If I deal with your nonsense, your wicked lies, you gotta deal with my preaching. Fair game. We equal, we, we equal, right? We all made by God, we all come from God. And if you're living in sin, God should repent. Homosexuals repent. Your, 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 your anus is made for, for defecation, not penetration. Mm. Your anus is made for defecation, not penetration. God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Man and woman, you're here because of a sperm and an egg. So the world say it's okay to be gay. You're, the, the world's lying to you. Man, ladies, you're, you're made to have sex of a man. You're made to be impregnated, ladies. You're, God called you to be with a man. Men, you're called to be with a woman. That's why it's called a male genital and a female genital. They go in pieces to the puzzle. Simple as that. It works. It's God's incredible design for procreation. That's all you're here. That's all you're alive right now. It's pieces to a puzzle. Male and female. God did it. God made it. God designed it. Because God is smart. God's intelligent. God knows what he's doing. God knows, right? True. Oh, yeah. Amen, this sister. Is, you, you, you got a, a beautiful daughter right there. You know why? Because she was a man. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't abort. Right? Amen. God bless you. So why would, why, would, why would we take away from the world the beautiful children, the handsome children of the world by the homosexuality? Why? Why would we go against God's best, God's ideal, God's design? That's not smart. That's wicked. That's, that's confusion. Your alcohol has confused you. Your cocaine has confused you. Your meth, your pornography has confused you. Watching men on men, hardcore porn, wicked, vile, disgusting, dreadful things. God said, live clean, live pure, live holy. Like, like how you want to drink, you want to drink clean water. You want, you want, you want to eat clean food. Well, God said, live, live clean. How about you live clean? You want clean water? Clean food, um, 
a clean relationship, a, 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 a clean, a clean job. You want things to go well, right? Address clean. Address bestiality you too. Pure. Oh yeah, that's that. You got that's people. A, that's another different. Having sex with animals. Yeah, it's true. And that so-called Family Guy. You got that white dog having sex with with with, with grown woman. With a with, black woman. With, grown woman. What's it? What they call again? Brian, I think. Having sex with. Humans and the kids are watching that. Think it's okay? That's not it's a free right. Dog with dogs, wicked, 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 vile, abomination. Mm. And then they bring ideas into their mind. It's okay to have sex, sex with a dog, with a cat, with a monkey. Mm. Well, love is love. No, vile. it's lust. L U S T. It's not love. It's lust. And it's abominable. God says it's vile. Mm. Abomination. Mm. Worthy of the death sentence. Mm. God made mm. every kind after its own kind. Humans should have sex with humans. Dogs have sex with dogs. Cats have sex with cats. Not humans and dogs. God made every kind after its kind. Because God is the God of order. God is the God of order. Right? Like, like your organs, your organs are, 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 are in order. Your liver, your gallbladder, your kidneys are all in order. Your eyes are in the right place, your ears are in the right place, your nose in the right place. God made your body in order. And whenever you go against God, you're out of order. Amen. When you go against God's design, you're out of order. Like some Jamaicans say, you're out of order. You're out of order. Right? Yeah. Right? When you go to a, 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 a vending machine, if it, if it says out of order, it's not working. It's not working. <laughs> it ain't working. If, if you're out of order, you're not working for God. You're not, you're not working properly. You're working wickedly. You're, you're working vile, vile deeds. Yep. Wicked deeds. You're out of order. What can God get from you? Like, like the venom machine. You can't get something out of the venom machine if it's out of order. So how can God take something out of you when he needs for, for his glory if you're out of order? If you're not working properly. If you're not, work, if you're not working properly. Every, every building needs renovation. Every computer needs renovation. Every car needs renovation. Every, everything that, that, that's made needs renovation. So does your mind. So does your life. So do you? So do you? I know a guy. He was married. Or he's married still. Married. Almost lost his marriage because of pornography. He put up his first prostitute because of pornography. It influenced him. A lot of people are depressed and suicidal and ashamed because of pornography. God said, you can be healed. That's, that's, that's one of the most, that's one of the most toughest, difficult things to overcome. It's, it's, it's all in your face. Watch your back. It's, it's on the phones. Peace and blessings, my brother. Peace over. and blessings, brother. But God is powerful. God can set the captives free. There's no sin too often God to overcome. We got people who think every party I go, I gotta get a drink. Every wedding I go, I gotta get a drink. Every time I got with my friends, I gotta get a drink. No, you don't. Get a drink of water. A drink of water. How about that? Water. You know what you do? You put in poison in your in your body. You work, you work and get your money and then pay your hard-earned money for poison. You're not smart. You're being lies. Foolish. You, you wanna buy your you wanna buy your vodka. You wanna buy your tequila. It's killing your brain cells. It's killing your liver cells. Why would you invest your money in poison? Why would you invest your money in that which is destroying your body? 
that beer, that liquor, that alcohol. Why would you do that? You are, you are suppressing your immune system. You are dumbing down your intellect. You are dumbing down your inhibitions. Mm, that is you're, not, you're not being wise. You're not being smart. There's no, there's no bars in heaven. There's no bars in heaven. There's no strip choice in heaven. I guarantee that. There's no pole dancing in heaven. I guarantee that. So all that sin that you enjoy so much, it won't be in heaven. All those, all those crazy places that to go, it won't, it won't be in heaven. It won't. No whorehouses, no whorehouses in heaven. None. None. So if you want to go to heaven, how about you prepare now? How about you get ready now? Get your life right. Today. Today. Is the day. Harden not your heart. You got police rushing to homes. Domestic violence. Police, right? Why? Somebody was drinking alcohol. You got somebody committing suicide. It's a lot of them, look, look, look what was near their hand. Alcohol, abusive marriages, most cases, what was involved? Alcohol, Alzheimer's disease, dementia disease. A lot of them drank alcohol. You live a sort of life. If you drink, I don't care, any amount of liquor will destroy your longevity. Any amount, any amount. You put, you put the